to Port Elliot. They were in the hands of the social service, and uh, they were trying to find a way to take care of this woman who was lodged in a motel room with just one, uh, with seven children, and uh, the, she wasn't even paid for. But in that motel room, she had to bring, it, bring her, her, her dues, her forty and them music, and make another baby, and make another baby. And when they took her to court uh, to try to find out how to help this woman, she said, somebody got to take care of my children. That's the judge said, somebody got to take care of my children. So the judge asked her if she was pregnant again, and she wouldn't answer him. <laughs> See, it's, it's this mindset. In the sun, just keep on having babies from uh, from different men, and, and and can't find a father, can't find support. But society takes care of me. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. That's the mentality of this apostate, immoral, ungodly, anti-God, anti-truth generation. That's what it is, and that's why you, as a Christian, should get out of it. That's why you should, by the way, talk about getting out of the church. You, you, you didn't know that the Bible told you to get out of them. You didn't know that? See, the Bible, I'm going back to the Bible again. Somebody called me like, oh, man, that old guy, he got a just a hollering about the Bible. And then the language they use, I can't even play them on the radio. Because they're just, you know, did you, did you realize what kind of language our young people are using? Our movie stars are using, our television programs are using. We got pornography, my friends, on, on radio shows, on government programs. Uh, the F word is probably more popular than uh, uh, the M word. Now you probably say, what's that? Now I'm not going to say them, but they are, they, they just, just rattle it right out. Freaking stop voting, they, they, they talk like that, both the police and the people. Uh, we're, we're a deplay, this society, friends. This is the reason why I tell you that this is coming to an end. Now, God help me to remember what I was, what got me started here uh, on the broadcast today. Uh, I'm in the radio room. I just came back from the garden, and I was looking at the brothers working quite well. And then I thought of it as I heard the broadcast talking about how the, the hundreds, hundreds, I got the figure, it's shocking, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people leaving their home, mommies, daddies. Uh, one report came the other day that most of them are young men. Where are their wives? Uh, in fact, I read the other day that the, a bunch of them just disappeared over there in Europe. They brought them in, and as they lodged them up to try to figure out what to do with them, the next thing they went looking for them, and they were on their so You say, preacher, how, what, what, they're desperate. What are they going to do? They can't go back home. They can't stay where they are. So they just get back with their face. And the king of everything goes, well, we're going to die anyway. So <laughs> to the overcomer 24 hours, 7 days a week broadcast that reaches the entire world. You have tuned to 21675 kilohertz on the 13 meter band. Radio Africa Network, broadcasting from Okeechobee, Florida, USA. For more information, email us at info at panambc.com. Again, that's info at panambc.com. We would love to hear from you. God bless. Box 691, Walterville, W-A-L-T-E-R-B-O-R-O, -E Walterville, South Carolina, 
My zip code is 294-88-US.